What is up guys, this is your boy Venge here and I wanted to do a video, a discussion video about um, the events that took place over the course of this year. Kind of like a yearly review kind of thing. I usually wait later in the month and I would do it in a stream format, but for whatever reason I wanted to touch basis with you guys through the video talking about various highs and lows of the year because I just like to be transparent about everything that goes on with me, my life, my channel, all of that. And I want to do it in a video. Now, will I do something special on Twitch? Yes, I will. I just haven't figured out when I would do that as of, as of late. I'm not really sure because there's still a lot of things that I have to do, but I definitely want to do something special to celebrate my first full year of being on Twitch, um, which has been wonderful. So why don't we start there? This year, I made my move over to Twitch sometime early February due to a lot of issues that I was battling with while on YouTube. Um, and how did that how did that all work out in terms of my progression things has been wonderful um i had no idea what was going to be waiting for me when i made that transition over to twitch i had no idea if it was going to be a successful transition or a disaster i mean there was I had no clue, but considering all of the things that I've been having to struggle with, um, with YouTube, you know, in the early months of the year, what other choice did I have? It was like, I better try something, and I felt like I had to try sooner than later, um, but it worked out, you know, my transition over to Twitch and then doing streams on Twitch mainly has been an absolute blast and a lot of the stress that I was under basically faded away when I moved over to Twitch. So that was great. But then you have the struggles as well. Um, <clears throat> and I want to talk about that because as a content creator it's good to be transparent. Um, explain yourself um, the best way you know how even if somebody heard it a hundred times over because I know I talked about this sort of thing a lot but you know this is a yearly review kind of thing and I would like to do that on in a video format on YouTube since there is drastic changes that's coming during the year 2020 so there were a lot of problems with YouTube and I will talk about these problems first before I discuss the results of me moving. How did it affect other people? How did it affect me? So what made me move? You know, I had to answer this question to people many times over the course of this year. And it's not that it was a decision that I was planning to do. It was something that um, there were some things that I realized was happening to me while I was on YouTube. And it encouraged me to make a bold decision, an unpopular decision at that. So basically, to keep a long story short, YouTube was really hurting my channel uh, I like uh, let's see let's start with the daily subs that I was losing I was basically losing subs daily and that's not natural there's one thing if you lose a sub or two every now and then but I was literally consistently losing subs as if I was getting like a daily purge and there was even a viewer that told me that he thought that my channel was cursed 
because of the fact that he would get unsubscribed from my channel by YouTube multiple times and eventually people get tired of that and they're going to just give up altogether. And then on top of that, you've I've had, you know, everyone knows about the notifications issue where people are not being notified and there's people that told me that they've just been notified and the stream was going on for two hours and so that's another problem um what else was there i wanted to talk about so all of these things kind of like put me in a bad spot oh yeah i almost forgot to mention this not only that but as a streamer you're aware of what's happening with your channel especially if you're keeping an eye on progression and one of the things that i've noticed is usually the streams that do really well were like sliced in half a uh, good example of this would be my mario kart streams i know all last year every time i did mario kart i got a consistent number of views and then come the year two early 2019 those numbers begin to get cut in half and that usually never happens and you You've been working with your channel long enough to know what's good and what's bad. And for me, that was definitely not good because that just shows shows that a lot of the things that was happening to me was a, um, a result of this. I mean, if I'm losing subs consistently, I could be losing active subscribers. Um, uh, there could be people that hasn't been getting notifications on time, so that's even even less traffic coming my way and when it comes to youtube you're a slave to an algorithm like if your channel is not performing well then youtube supports you less and that is the thing that resulted in me deciding to move over to twitch and now that wasn't a very popular decision you know, I've got a lot of heat for that earlier on. Uh, people complained about me moving to another platform on Twitter. Uh, people would act all, say crazy stuff in another person's stream when I'm there. And it's like, oh gosh, they, they had like, I remember one person when the streamer mentioned that I was on Twitch and everything and then it was like Cody as well yeah I, I don't understand that I mean like <laughs> I mean how is it disgusting but you know what I mean you know people have their preferences and that's something that the streamer couldn't fight. That's something that I couldn't fight. And I wasn't upset with the streamer because some things a streamer cannot control. So, I mean, it, I've been dealing with a lot of stuff like that. You know, people saying, oh, he moved to Twitch for money. Oh, he's abandoning his community. Oh, he doesn't believe in the community. No. <laughs> that's a bunch of baloney. I made that decision because it was the safest thing to do so that people will have a be it join a platform that is safe they don't have to worry about losing their accounts they don't have to worry about consistently missing missing out on streams it's a matter of keeping the community together um, that's the major premise of moving over to twitch um so and another thing to mention is the simple fact that what good is being a content creator if you're not allowed to do what you want to do you're not allowed to do the things that you feel is best for your channel a lot of people recently you know has realized that themselves and they're moving over to Twitch because they don't want their community to be lost. I mean, nobody wants to lose their community. Nobody wants to lose all of the work that they put into it. I mean, it's like, yes, it sucks to move from a platform where all the memories were. 
which was YouTube, um, all the friendships and bonds that were built over there. And now you got to take a chance moving on another platform. Of course, that's a stressful move. But at the same time, it's a move that has to be made because it's better to maintain what you have than just take your chances on losing it all. Especially with all the crazy policies and things that YouTube is actually implementing as of right now, especially at the beginning of the year 2020. It's a very stressful time for content creators and viewers need to be aware of the issues that is going to come um, to YouTube. Uh, one thing that I will mention about this whole ordeal is this is not a video that is trying to put down anyone that's using YouTube. Everyone has a choice. If people feel safer um, doing content on YouTube, that's their decision. I'm not going to go out of my way to chastise them. Hopefully I'm using that word right or disrespect them for using the platform that they prefer. Um, only thing that I would say is this. Consider all of this a warning. When doing social media, it's important not to just put all of your effort into one single platform. Because what happens if that one platform goes down? You're basically up the creek without a paddle. And... It's going to be extremely difficult to recover from that if things does not um, go your way. That's just the reality of social media. Putting your eggs in one basket. I mean, think of it that way. You put all your eggs in one basket, you drop the basket, you're going to lose tons and tons of eggs. You know, where if you spread it out, you will have plenty of options. Uh, that's why it's so important to have a Discord. That's why it's so important to have a Twitter. That's why it's so important to use a variety platforms like YouTube, Twitch, uh, Mixer, whatever platform you feel could work for you. You know, it's very important. So, despite all of that, you know, like I said, things were great. But then there's also a lot of the other stuff that content creators and future content creators and streamers need to be aware of as well. And that is know who you're dealing with. There are people out there that will take advantage of you. People out there that would disrespect you behind your back. These are things that you have to be aware of. And these are things that I've been dealing with on a daily basis from viewer disgruntled viewers to viewers disrespecting other people and expect me to go along with it uh, from content creators making up lies not telling the full story all of that i had to deal with all year <laughs> during the year 2019 and that made things quite difficult um and i wanted to keep all that gory stuff short because despite all of the stuff that i've the negative stuff that i dealt with social media aspect was wonderful but you know another problem is life does not wait for you life will hit you with problems when you least expect it and i lost three family members um over the course of this year I lost two family members in one week. Um, and then I lost my grandmother after Thanksgiving. And that was definitely a very difficult thing to deal with. But the huge positive to that is that I was, I'm, I don't feel alone, you know. They are, my community has been behind me 100%. Uh, my mods has been there for me, you know, 300%. And 
you guys gave me strength and that strength came in clutch big time um i don't know where i would have been if it wasn't for you guys and your wonderful support and i just wanted to thank all of you guys for that because because of that strength i was able to salvage um christmas the rest of this holiday um i was able to maintain my sanity and you know i realized the importance the important thing to do holidays is not about gifts that's like a small part about it small part of that very small the most important thing about holidays is being with family being there for them enjoying their time and you know i've been doing just that and I feel as though this Christmas was as good as it was going to get. But, um, despite all the stressful stuff that happened. I'm very grateful for all of you guys. Um, you, because of you guys, this Christmas was... It was a good one. Of course... You know, with all the stress, it, it can be difficult to, um, you know, really consider it like a merry, merry Christmas. But even then, despite that, it was still um, a good Christmas day. You know, I'd like to thank you guys for that. As far as this year, 2019, it was a good year. In terms of social media, um, in terms of everything else, it was tough. But even though it was tough, got through it. And I'm uh, really looking forward to the year 2020. And I definitely hope 2020 is a less stressful year for not only me, but you guys as well. Because um, I know a lot of people that has been going through some hard times lately. And um, I think we all need a better year. <laughs> so, uh, happy holidays. I wish everyone a happy new year because it's coming. New Year's is coming. And you want to get your New Year's resolutions ready and look forward to another new year, a new beginning, a new chapter. Uh, reason why I did this video, there was a lot on my mind. I was sitting at the Christmas tree just thinking, relaxing, enjoying the view of the glowy, pretty tree. And, you know, a lot of emotions poured through my brain. And I just felt like I had to do a video. Oof. Very long video at that. I might have to chop some of this up. <laughs> But uh, thank you guys so much for your wonderful support. And oh yes, I better make sure to put that in there. Um, in terms of streams, I would not be streaming on YouTube. I would not be streaming on YouTube anymore. Like all of my streams are going to be over on Twitch. So make sure to follow me on Twitch because Twitch is where the action is and that's where I'm going to be streaming 100%. Um, in terms of YouTube, though, that doesn't mean that YouTube is out of the picture. I'll still be uploading videos. And I just hope that I don't get screwed over by all of these insane changes that YouTube has made. Ugh. <sighs> but that will be another story for another time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and relax for a little bit. Thank you guys for everything, and I look forward to seeing you at the next stream or the next video have a wonderful day guys peace and god bless happy holidays wish you a happy new year let's get it